guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just uh, sitting back here in the classroom eating chocolates. Ali, thanks for the chocolates, by the way. Thank you, all of you, for the chocolates. I've been having lots of snacks. We're going to do an optional video. Mm, so good. Um, looking at homework. I hope all of you are busy studying. Remember all of the awesome ways that you can study. Zern, problem set, homework, that big exit tick. Uh, packet exit ticket pack that we send home or you can watch my videos or my brother's videos I'm just gonna do lesson 11 homework um, Or lesson 12 lesson 12 homework a couple questions right now Really good examples of what you're going to see on the test um, Gosh, my headband is fabulous And I just want you guys to do a little practice get lots of sleep I know that you're gonna rock this celebration of learning over the next couple days um, Here goes nothing. Let's check it out Uh, here we are. This is lesson 12 homework. We, uh, I handed this out on, what is day Wednesday? On Tuesday. And I, for those of you that needed it, I just wanted to go over these problems. These are really, um, excellent opportunities for us to practice our multi-step word problem solving. So, number one. Terrence finished a word search in three-fourths the time it took Frank. Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds the time it took Terrence. Frank finished the word search in 32 minutes. How long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? Okay, so before we start calculating, let's just organize information that we've been given. So, three characters in this word problem. We have Terrence, Frank, and Charlotte. I'm going to draw tape diagrams. Please keep in mind these are not proportional to one another. I'm just drawing rectangles to represent the amount that each friend um, finished the word search, but they're not proportional, okay? So, we are flat out given this information. Frank finished the word search in 32 minutes. So, Frank is 32 minutes. Terrence is three-fourths the time it took Frank. So Terrence is three-fourths of Frank, which is 32. And then Charlotte is two-thirds of blank. Blank is Terrence. We don't know Terrence's time yet. So let's go ahead and figure this out. So we know Frank is 32 minutes, okay. Now we can figure out Terrence because Terrence is 34, I'm sorry, 3 fourths of 32. You guys know that in 3 fourths of 32 is just 3 fourths times 32. So, and I'm using pink in honor of Valentine's Day today. So what we have up top is 3 times 30, oops. Sorry about that. Three times erasers. Try that again. Three times 32. There we go. Over four. So let's just evaluate this. Three times 32. Some of you might be able to do that in your head. Some of us might choose to go ahead and do this on the side. Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Three times 32 is 96. So we have 96 over four. We need to simplify this, and we are going to simplify this. I'll just use my eraser to do some long division. We're going to simplify 96 over 4 by just dividing 96 by 4. Sweet. Okay, so how many 4s go into 9? Well, 2 fours go into nine with some left over. Two times four is eight. So let's find the difference between nine and eight. It is one. Is one less than four? Certainly is. So we can move forward. Move forward by bringing down your six. Now we ask yourself, how many fours go into 16? Well, four fours go into 16. Four times four is 16. Our difference there is zero. So 96 divided by four is equal to 24. So Terrence read for 24 minutes. 
That's Terrence. Now we need to figure out our final question is how long did it take Charlotte to finish the word search? Charlotte's amount of time is dependent on Terrence's amount of time. We're given this, that Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds the time it took Terrence. So two-thirds of Terrence. Terrence is 24 minutes. So now we'll be able to figure out Charlotte. Two-thirds of 24 looks like two-thirds times 24 in an expression. So let's go ahead and evaluate. So we have 2 times 24 on the top, and that is over 3. 2 times 24, I think most of us can do this in our head, it's just 24 plus 24, because it's two copies of 24, which is 48. And then we're going to divide 48 by 3. We can do that quickly just using some long division. 48 divided by 3. First we ask ourselves how many 3's go into 4. Well, 1 3 goes into 4. Now we need 1 times 3, which is 3. Find the difference between 4 and 3 is 1. Ask yourself, is 1 smaller than 3? Yes, it is, so we can move forward. In moving forward, we bring our we drop our 8 down. Now we're looking for how many 3's go into 18. And we know that 6 3's go into 18. Because 6 times 3 is, yes ma'am, Eva E, 18. So 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16, which means that our girl, Charlotte, took 16 minutes to solve that uh, word search. Way to go, Charlotte. Friends, let's take a look at number two. Uh, we have Ms. Phillips ordered 56 pizzas for a school fundraiser. Of the pizzas ordered, two-sevenths of them were pepperoni, 19 were cheese, and the rest were veggie pizzas. What fraction of the pizzas were veggie? Okay, so this is a pretty cool problem. Um, let's go ahead and organize the information that we have into a tape diagram. So we know our whole is that 56. And then we're given a few bits of information. We are told, keep in mind this is not proportional, we are told that 19 are cheese. And then we're told that 2 sevenths, 2 sevenths, of 56, two sevenths of 56 because that's our whole, are pepperoni. So let's figure out how many pizzas, uh, or I'm sorry, what, let's figure out how many pizzas are pepperoni. So two sevenths of 56 looks like two sevenths times 56. Go ahead and evaluate this. Up top we have two times 56, and that is over seven. 2 times 56, we could just quickly do over here, 56 times 2, 6 times 2 is 12, carry the 1, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so this is equal to, sorry, I should do this every time, uh, well, 112 over 7, let's simplify that using long division, we just look at it, 112 divided by 7. How many sevens go into 11? One with some left over. One times seven is seven. 11 minus seven is four. Is four smaller than seven? Yes, we can move forward and bring down our two. Now we're looking at how many sevens go into 42. Well, I know seven times six is 42. So six sevens go into 42. Six times seven is 42. Awesome. Okay, so 112 divided by 7 is 16. So we have 16 pepperoni pizzas. 16 pepperoni pizzas. Do you guys see how I'm putting all of our inf information in the same language? We were given um, a whole number and a fraction, and instead of putting the whole number and the fraction here, I'm putting them all into the same language. So now we have one chunk left that are veggie. And we want to know what fraction of the pizzas were veggie, but let's figure out how many pizzas were veggie first. We know the whole rectangle is 56. We know this chunk is 19 and this chunk is 16. How do we figure out this chunk? Well, 
we can do 56. Uh, actually, let's let's figure out what the cheese and pepperonis are combined. So let's add together 19 and 16. We can do that very easily. 9 plus 6 is 25. I'm sorry, it's 15. <laughs> Carry the 1. Uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Okay. So our cheese and our pepperoni combined, cheese and pep, is 35. So if this is 35 and the entire is 56, in order to figure out our veggies, we just take our whole, which is 56, and we subtract 35, which is our cheese and pepperoni. So 6 minus 5 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. So our veggie is 21. 19 plus 16 plus 21 added up all together equals 56. So what fraction of the pizzas was veggie or were veggie, it's very simple. It would just be 21 over 56. 21 out of the 56 pizzas, pizzas are veggie. We can handle that. Um, if you are feeling fancy and you want to simplify, you can recognize that 21 and 56 share a common factor of 7. So what we can do is divide both of these by 7 and simplify. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 56 divided by 7 is 8. So 21 over 56 is equivalent to 3 eighths and this is 21 56 in simplest form and also uh, your final answer 3 eighths veggie. Cool. Happy studying you guys. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>